I like to start my presentations out with a definition because oftentimes people come into sessions and they have ideas about what words mean and sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. The word privilege is defined as an advantage or immunity granted to or enjoyed by one societal group above and beyond the common advantage of all other groups. Privilege is often invisible to those who have it. So you can think of it like a superpower, something you have that you can't get rid of that you can use to the advantage of others that don't necessarily experience that privilege. Now, immediately you may be thinking white privilege or male privilege, but there are lots of other types of privilege. Consider this, you're watching this thanks to the power of high-speed internet, but 2 million Canadians and about 13 million Americans don't have access to high-speed internet. Regardless of whether or not they can afford it, it's simply not available to them. That means you enjoy that privilege. I've said it before, bears repeating, there are lots of different types of privilege. This is just a sample of different types of privilege. And in the interest of time, I'm not going to read through all of them, but I'll comment on a couple. Straight privilege. Being heterosexual comes with a level of privilege. As of today, there are 67 countries where it's illegal to be gay, with 11 of them having the death penalty as punishment. That's a privilege. Consider that my marriage has only been legal in Canada for about 17 years. If you're heterosexual, your marriage has been legal since the 1300s. Able-bodied privilege. How many of you have ever had to climb a step to get into a building or a space? That's a privilege. If you use a wheelchair or other mobility device, you probably have to plan out your life to make sure that you can get where you're going. There are lots of other types of privilege. Being right-handed, as an example, left-handed people know what I'm talking about. 98% of the planet is right-handed. That makes it really hard for people who are left-handed to find things to get through life that we might think of as just common. Imagine scissors as an example. Try finding a pair of left-handed scissors. It's why Ned Flanders' business went under. The point here is that there's lots of different types of privilege beyond race and sex. Every single person in a session with me will have some form of privilege and potentially also some form of disadvantage, all because of who they are. But there is one truth about privilege that you need to understand. Privilege cannot be given, gifted, assigned, bought, stolen, removed, waived, or abandoned. Privilege is not something that you achieve. The reality is privilege is assigned to you because of something you have little to no control over. Unless you are a member of the executive of Rogers or Bell or Verizon or Comcast, you don't have any control over where we have high-speed internet in our countries, but you still have access to it. There are three things that I want people to keep in mind when it comes to privilege. First, having privilege does not make you a bad person. Don't get me wrong, you might be a horrible person, but it's not your privilege. The truth is having privilege isn't a bad thing. You have it. There's nothing you can do about it. Two, having privilege does not negate the hardships that you've had. It does not mean that you don't experience marginalization in other areas of your identity. Here we need to differentiate between having privilege and having a privileged life. Having privilege doesn't mean that your life hasn't been hard. Number three, it doesn't mean that you are universally privileged. I am white and I am male, and I experience the benefits that come with those identities. But I'm also gay, gender non-conforming, and I live with two disabilities. So I experience marginalization as a consequence of those identities. One thing does not negate the other. 